In this video, we're going to look at a licensed restoration expert doing a second floor hempcrete installation on the floor itself. Now in France, in order to work on any of these bâtiments or old buildings, you need to be certified, registered, etc. There are some subtitles, and one thing to note is that cho, which is lime, often gets translated as hot. Chanvre, which is hemp, often gets translated as chamber or bedroom. Few other little mistakes here and there. I'll correct them if need be. Let's go ahead and watch what she does. Now, the process that she uses on the second floor is exactly the same process that you would do by hand on the first floor. Uh, there is, if you were doing hérisson or the foundation underneath of that, different process. Déjà, le chanvre est un agrégat allégé, ce qui va permettre de ne pas charger le plancher. Le béton de chanvre euh, respecte euh, le torchis. Puis... Now here she mentioned that uh, it respects le torchi. Torchi is a method of building that is not necessarily cob, because cob is boge. There's boge coffré, torchi, pisé, and adobe. Now, pisé is actually rammed earth. Adobe is, came from Spain, obviously, in adobe bricks, clay bricks. Boge coffré is a really interesting method of utilizing cob with these top pieces that are still being used today to replicate the Boge coffré process. But there is four basic buildings, and they're usually, uh, and this is historically speaking, and they're de definitely regional. Uh, the one I left out is uh, obviously stone buildings and lime mortar. Uh, Torchy is usually what you would see, uh, colombage or timber frame, and it's filled in. I have many examples of that. Puisqu'il est perméable à la, à la vapeur d'eau et respirant. Now, as you can see here, they're just using a standard uh, cement mixer. So don't let, uh, let the inability to get the fancy mixer that a lot of the guys are using or the more expensive machinery that you might uh, see that's being used. You can just use a decent sized concrete mixer, five cubes and above, really probably a 12 cube is best. Euh, il y a une résistance mécanique intéressante avec la chaux hydraulique, la NHL 3.5, renforcée par la fibre du chanvre. Et puis, c'est un isolant phonique et thermique. Euh... You saw just there, they did chanvre, which is hemp, and it translated to bedroom. So just be aware of that so you can get some continuity. Euh, intéressante pour euh, un plancher à l'étage. La dalle de chaux chambre est aussi un, une dalle qui est, qui est souple et qui suit le mouvement du bâtiment ancien. Souvent, les professionnels et artisans utilisent le mot. So, they are going to mention in more than one spot that they're using matched pairs. And what that means is they're using a branded CNC grade herd with a binder that has been tested. And the testing process in France is not expensive. It's accessible. And they generally require that you build with matched pairs. So binder and uh, herd. So you'll see different brands of herd, whether it's Canabat, Isocana, Isotherm, etc., cetera, um, Chanvre Bat, and a few others. They are generally tested match pairs. The only true tested match pairs we have in the United States is LCG, which is Damien Bomer's uh, binder for the Erezi, and Canabat. And that was done, tested just recently as a match pair in France, if I'm mistaken, not mistaken. And uh, technically, that's all we truly have over here because we don't have that process of testing of nat match pairs. And some of the herd that we're seeing is not uh, really CNC grade. That is not the fault of the processors. That's the fault of the machine they bought and that they had to kind of jury rig to get it going right. That's just the reality. 
mot « dalle » pour désigner ces ouvrages. Mais ce ne sont pas des dallages au sens du DTU 13.3, il faut utiliser les termes de « forme » ou « forme isolante ». Stop there real quick. Show hydraulique avec Lyon valide par les règles professionnelles. They're talking about the match pairs again. Hydraulic lime with a uh, Lyon valide par les règles professionnelles. That just means this is the one that's been, these have been tested. And they're not just mixing uh, materials. And frankly, this is something that really needs to come into play in the United States for large projects, two, three, four, five-story projects. No contractors are going to say, I'm going to mix this on the fly, although that's been done, but it's... And here she's talking about Chenevet is herd. Chanvre is hemp. So she's simply saying here, herd that's been label labeled... Um, construction grade and compatible with the binders. Lyon is binder that's been agreed by the rules of the professionals that set forth at uh, uh, Construire en Chambre, which is what CNC stands for. You'll see this stamp. And this is an approved tech uh, material that has uh, um, not only dust free, but uh, the varying grades and sizes. And the best way to explain this is uh, in concrete. Cement is cement without aggregate. And cement with only one size aggregate is weaker than multiple size aggregates. And it's usually done in two sizes, smaller, larger, and then the variables between the smaller aggregate and the larger aggregate. In the French hemp herd, they steer away from one larger size and uniformity and look for uniformity in, in terms of small to large. So it is a stronger aggregate. And it's just something they discovered over time. Uh, larger aggregate alone will work. It's just not as strong. With, uh, and the same is true in concrete. That's just the facts. La préparation commence par la réalisation de la barbotine eau plus chaud. On incorpore l'eau, puis la chaux selon les doses préconisées par le fabricant de chaux. Le chanvre sec est ensuite ajouté, toujours selon ses préconisations. On arrête le malaxage dès que le mélange est homogène. En pressant la matière dans les mains, aucune laitance ne doit couler. Le plancher doit être porteur et en bon état avec les gaines et tuyaux d'évacuation mis en place. Le niveau est défini par rapport aux deux seuils de porte. La réalisation d'un pot central est nécessaire lorsque la largeur de la porte est 
um, a uh, geotextile or a water uh, vapor perme permeable mat. It, it looks like the second floor had tomet, which are little clay tiles that are either hexagonal, hexagonal, or they are square. And it looks like this was just done for an attic on this second floor restoration of this older building at the time it was built, or maybe shortly thereafter, who knows. But you can see where the mortar is popping up here and there. And there are better shots, better close-up shots. La pièce est importante. Le niveau de référence est établi par une pile de matériaux, puis juste à côté, par le plot en matière chaud chanvre nivelé à la taloche. Good shots there. You can see where the mortar is pushing through. So that it really does look like bricks or tomettes that have been pushed in. And what you'll see is they do several piles. And this is not the spray method. This is the hand method. Several piles that they then line up all around and then do the exterior and then do a fill-in, as we'll see. And she has the oversized daloche slash float. Les côtés sont biseautés pour faciliter ensuite l'adhérence avec le béton chaud chanvre qui sera disposé autour et pour éviter les fissures au séchage. À partir du plot central de niveau, un lit périphérique de matière est mis en place sur environ 30-40 cm de largeur. La matière est d'abord déversée, puis elle est poussée contre le mur et les coins. La taloche permet de niveler et lisser pour se rapprocher du niveau de référence. Un contrôle par rapport au niveau du plot central est réalisé systématiquement et le niveau est également vérifié le long du lit de niveau. Le bord se finit en biseau pour une bonne accroche du béton chaud chanvre qui sera ensuite appliqué bord à bord. L'intérêt de faire d'un seul tenant cette matière sans autre matériau qui rentre euh, dans la fabrication de la dalle pour tirer le niveau me permet euh, par la suite de ne pas avoir de fissures, donc pas de joint avec des carreaux ou, des, ou du plancher éventuellement, et ça sera un, un sol parfaitement plan et uniforme fini. Le remplissage central est réalisé 3 à 4 jours après la pose du lit de niveau qui s'est solidifié. Le bord biseauté du lit de niveau est aspergé de barbotines de chaux pour une meilleure adhérence lors de la prise. Le mélange chaud-chanvre est versé en excès sur le biseau pour former une couche plus épaisse que le lit de niveau. Elle est étalée à la main ou à la truelle. La règle prend appui des deux côtés sur le lit de niveau elle glisse en aller-retour pour niveler la matière, sans tirer pour ne pas fissurer la surface. La matière est aplatie à la taloche. Pour cette pièce de 29 mètres carrés, voici le bilan des quantités utilisées. Pour la préparation de 30 bétonnières, 30 sacs de 35 kg de liant à la chaux validés dans le cadre des règles professionnelles, 15 sacs de chaînes de... Uh, real quickly, when it says, uh... 30 or 30 bétonnières, that just means 30 loads that were pushed through there. It was 30 sacks, the 35 kilo of, uh, of a um, binder, and then 15 sacks of uh, 35 kilos, 40 kilo um, bags. So not that much was used up here. And she does say in one part where she varies uh, thickness une vote de 200 litres pour une épaisseur totale de 10 cm. Le séchage complet demande 90 jours. Donc, ici, ils sont littéralement parlé de ça de nouveau. Deux. Il dit Gonnet, ce qui veut dire understand, mais pour to, to lire la liste, les matchés pairs, couple liant, granula. <coughs> Les French think of herd as a uh, uh, aggregate, and granula means aggregate, uh, before you work on this technique, etc. So again, they're emphasizing this matched pair information. And this is critical, important. It's critical to the future of hemcrete in the United States that we have some consistency for general contractors and architects Because right now we don't. We kind of have this hearsay thing going.
going on and nothing's really defined. So enjoy. I'm going to post a few others relative to this process. One by a plaster guy who has some excellent work that he's done. A lot of this stuff is done on old stone buildings, and um, which is a little different than uh, the newer construction. But please enjoy.